So do, do you mind if we do a quick one? What's going on? So, uh, sorry, I'm. Yeah, you, you want to put that down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish I had one of those. That's a nice little trick. So, tell me what happened yesterday. Um, um, yeah, the, the, came, the FBI came in for the first time. You know, the first time you guys came here, everybody said that it was bull crap. Right. So just tell me what happened. Nothing. They just came in. They just they they ran straight up to the ring, and they put a blue tape on the ring so we couldn't see, but. Obviously, there's about 30 cameras around the whole premises. So they came back for the things that they alleged that I did, the, cop, the copyright infringement, which, you know, I don't think I ever did anything wrong. Obviously, I was running businesses wide open in, in the public. So now we just got to see. We have, we're going to have our day in court now. So finally, you know, I get to not be depressed, not be stressed out anymore. Now I get my day in court. Was this, was this arrest a relief for you? It was 100 percent of relief because I didn't know what was know what was going on for two years. No answers, no nothing. You know, depressed. You know, a lot of depression comes behind this. They don't know, man. When when they do things like this, they take people's livelihoods. You know, so this is sort of a big relief for me. Obviously. You look like you're doing pretty good. <laughs> oh, and look, they said that everything that I've done was criminally, and back again. We're back to flourishing again with other business ventures, which means that you know I've always done something right. You know, I just feel like you know I found a loophole. I ran through it and I did great. You know, there's other colleagues of mine that are in the same business that I was in. They never got in trouble with the FBI. They're right now, you know, they're getting sued by Direct TV, and the FBI never had any interest in them. And you know, that's my question to them: like, how can my colleagues get to run off of two, three hundred million, and I was the only one targeted out of it? Maybe it's because you know, we were probably driving down the 95, and um, they looked over. You know, they make 70 grand a year. Who the hell is this fat guy? driving a Lambo. You said two things in a video. Mm -hmm. You said you're prepared to go to jail. Is that still the case? If 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 uh, the jurors could find that I did anything wrong, because I believe I, I see counsel in this matter. And I actually sat in one of my divorce proceedings and I sat there and told my lawyer, am I doing anything wrong? Because if I am, I'll quit down. He looked at me in my face in front of my ex-wife and said, Omar, what you're doing is not illegal. So in my heart, what I felt that I was doing was illegal. No, you know, I, this was wide open. I, I've never hit anything that I've ever done. You know, it's, it's kind of it kind of sucks. Second thing you said in one of your videos, you, you always make money. Uh, what's next for you? Um, opening the biggest brand in the world right now, you know, ReloadedMerch.com. And we're doing fantastic. We have a great group of people to follow us, you know. And I've always been an advocate of positivity. You know, I've never, you, you'll never see me advocating anything other than positivity so you know what happens is supposed to happen and you know god bless everyone so just to be crystal clear mm -hmm. the indictment that came down today you're saying you're completely innocent of those um not completely innocent would be a, a, a false statement now ignorance is no excuse for the law you know um I, I try to go back and forth with a few accountants and you know i found that when they were trying to like you know file my taxes they were filing them wrong you know, should I have done a little faster? Of course, a hundred percent. But do I think that I that I blatantly just ran away from the law and, and try to evade and try to money? None of that stuff I've ever done. You know, but ignorance is no excuse for the law. You know, so maybe I should have got on on those on those things a lot faster. But at the end of the day, what I think, what I've done, I never did anything wrong. Finally, what do you want to say to all your hundreds of thousands of followers now? Uh, you know, hold tight and, you know, and, and any entrepreneur that's doing anything right now, this this can be you. If you think you're doing the right thing and obviously you're on a great, you know, just always check check with a good lawyer, maybe two or three of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I, you good know. Advice.